When was the last time you saw someone using a point-and-shoot camera? There's a good chance it's been a while. However, you probably see someone using their smartphone to take a picture on a daily basis. Smartphone cameras have become the go-to picture-taking method for many consumers, and cameras are becoming one of the most important factors when upgrading a device. If you find yourself looking for your next smartphone and want some guidance, we're here to help. Here's our list of the best camera phones available right now. We've put each device through the ringer, testing the cameras in various situations to ensure we only recommend the best options. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now let's get into To the results. Number 5. OnePlus 10 Pro. OnePlus's high-end phone offers an impressive trio of rear cameras, with the company's partnership with pro camera manufacturer Hasselblad paying off again. We found the main, ultra-wide and telephoto cameras offer a lovely shallow depth in a lot of shots, although some might feel the AI optimizations leave the pictures a little oversaturated. There are some unique modes available. X-Pan, inspired by the niche Hasselblad camera of the same name, takes wide panoramas, while 150-degree mode uses the ultra-wide camera to create a fisheye-like effect. Beyond the camera, we found the OnePlus 10 Pro to be a well-rounded Android phone with a good-looking screen, fast charging and plenty of processing power. As with all phones, it has a few rough edges, and we found it ran hot when put through intense use. Number 4. Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV Sony's been putting out some great cameras, so you would hope for good things from its camera phones, and the fourth-generation Xperia 1 doesn't disappoint. It justifies its place on this list thanks to a few key features designed more for professional photographers than average consumers. The zoom camera on the Xperia 1 Mark IV has a moving lens, which facilitates continuous optical zoom between 3.5x and 5.2x, giving the phone a competitive edge for people who like zoom photography. The phone also sports a physical shutter button which can be partially depressed to find focus or fully pressed to take a picture, giving a camera-esque experience that can be useful in certain situations, such as when you want to focus and wait for the perfect moment for the shot. Meanwhile, for the first time on a Sony phone, you can record 4K and 120fps footage on any of the three rear cameras and one on the front which is useful for videographers and bloggers. We also quite like Sony's creativity apps like Photography Pro and Cinema Pro. The photography app isn't the easiest to use since it's modeled on cameras rather than smartphones. But if you're familiar with using a DSLR, you'll have no problem with it. Beyond the cameras, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV is a typical premium Android phone, though a reasonable battery. 4K display and a clean Android experience may endear it to some, but its cameras are its real self. Selling point. Number 3. Google Pixel 7 Pro. The Google Pixel 7 Pro takes amazing photos with ease, night and day, but it also takes the photo experience further than ever before. It actually made our photos from older phones look better. For now, that's something you can only do with a Tensor G2-enabled phone like the Pixel 7 Pro. In fact, there are quite a few things the Pixel 7 Pro can do that none of its competitors even attempt. The Pixel 7 Pro listens better, literally. It recognizes speech more accurately, making Google Assistant more useful. It doesn't just make photos better, it makes them more clear and more inclusive, using real tone technology to enhance skin tones. It will soon make phone calls sound better. We wish that the battery life were more impressive, and the macro focus mode wasn't as magical as many other Google Photos features. The phone delivers on some amazing promises, even if it can't keep them all. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra The latest Galaxy flagship's 4-camera system is top-notch, 
Featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and super zoom sensors, the first of these boasts a 108 megapixel sensor with an 1.8 aperture, dual pixel AF, and an 85 degree field of view. The 12 megapixel ultra-wide camera features a 2.2 aperture and a 120 degree field of view. There's also one 10 megapixel telephoto with an equivalent 3 times zoom and another 10 megapixel telephoto with a 10 times zoom. And that's not to mention the selfie camera, with its 40 megapixel resolution, 2.2 aperture, and 8K video capture at 24 FPS. More broadly, this is a large, stylish, and powerful smartphone. Its 6.8 inches AMOLED screen is to die for, with smooth motion, vivid colors, impressive brightness, and 500 pixels per inch resolution. The S Pen stylus is brilliant and gives you the kind of productivity you previously only got with a Galaxy Note. There's a powerful 5000 mAh battery to keep it going for hours, and the design and look of the phone is simple but, to our eyes, very stylish. Number 1. iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's face it, if you're a fan of Apple, you're going to want an iPhone. No matter how much we tell you the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the best camera phone. And if you're used to iOS and have Apple products, we won't try to persuade you against it. Apple's iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max are fresh out and they offer enough of an improvement to replace last year's 13 in this video. Like their predecessors, the Pro and Pro Max have significantly better cameras than the standard iPhone, sporting that additional third lens, macro abilities on the ultra-wide and higher resolution on the main camera. The two phones have the same cameras. They sport new 48 megapixel main sensors that are 65% larger than their predecessors. That means they let in more light, improving performance in dark conditions. The 12 megapixel ultrawide also gets improved low light performance thanks to a new sensor and more focus pixels. We found that with a 2.2 aperture, it's also now sharper. Like the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro, macro mode on the ultrawide lets you take detailed close-ups of anything from food to bugs or plants. The telephoto zoom is also impressive, reaching 6x optical zoom or 15x digital zoom. But that seems short compared to the Galaxy S22 Ultra's Max 100x digital zoom. There's good news for pro photographers too. The iPhone 14 Pro can capture big 48 megapixel RAW images, allowing a lot of flexibility for clean cropping and post-processing. There's also a ton of AI tools to make it easier to get great shots without having to adjust settings, and night mode is particularly good for low light conditions. Overall, we found that images look less over sharpened than with previous iPhones and colors look accurate and consistent across all three main cameras. Our only gripe would be the inflexibility when it comes to automatically switching between the cameras. If you're torn between which to go for out of the Pro and the Pro Max, it's worth bearing in mind that as well as a larger screen, the Pro Max also offers better battery life, almost 15 hours compared to just over 10. So that wraps up our list of the camera phones. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which phone you are going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any